Today we're going to compare similar figures, specifically similar rectangles. We can find out which sides of rectangles are corresponding to each other, that is, which side matches with which other side. Similar figures, as you know, are figures, shapes, that are the same shape, but they are not the same size. Let's look at this example. Here we have rectangle ABCD similar to rectangle WXYZ. We can see that the short side AB and also DC measures three units wide. The long side AD measures six units long. On the smaller rectangle we can see that the corresponding side to AB WX is only two units wide but we don't know the long edge. How do we find it? First, it's important to understand which sides actually correspond to each other. Which sides match? Well, we know that AB is a short side of its rectangle, while WX is also a short side of its rectangle. We can also see that AD is a long side of its rectangle, while WZ is the corresponding long side of its rectangle. To find out the length of this mystery side, we can use a proportion. But every time we construct a proportion, we have to make sure that our ratios in that proportion are consistent. So we'll make sure that the left ratio is the large rectangle and the small rectangle has a ratio on the right side. For the top of our ratios, we'll use the short sides of the rectangles. For the bottoms of our ratios, we will use the long sides. So now that we know which side goes in which space on this proportion, we can fill in the numbers. And whatever number is unknown, in this case WZ, we'll use a variable. So we, ha <clears throat> so we have 3 over 6 equals 2 over x. You can use whatever side you prefer, whatever variable you prefer, I should say. X is a good all-purpose variable, but you could use S for side, L for length, however you want to do it. Keep in mind that the orientation of the rectangles, that is, which way they are pointing, doesn't matter. You still have to identify the short side and the long side. Don't be fooled into trying to get the top side or the left side or the right side to match because if the rectangles are pointed in different directions, that won't work. So here we can see that the side of length 10 corresponds to the side that we don't know, the x. On the larger, larger rectangle, the 15 unit side corresponds with the 9 unit side. So this means we're matching up the short ends with the short ends and the long sides with the long sides. And as you build your proportion, remember to stay consistent. We'll keep our large side, our large rectangle on the left, our small rectangle on the right. Then we'll put the long sides of those rectangles on top and the short sides on the bottom. So this means our proportion is going to be 15 over 10 equals 9 over x. And of course, you can use whatever method you, need, you want to use to solve them. Cross multiplication works well, but we'll worry about that tomorrow.